as the devil's rejects resulted in a violent clash with police. Chances for survival are less than a million to one. May 23rd, 1978. This is the day three of the most infamous outlaws in the history of American crime seemingly met their final fate. 20 bullet wounds apiece. No one would have thought it possible that a single body could survive such a devastating onslaught of destruction. But they did. Over the next year, the critically injured outlaws of mayhem found their way back to the land of the living. The ensuing trial would be the longest murder trial in American history. Perhaps because of the massive press coverage the rejects received, they became martyrs to the youth. They're cool, man. I think it's all a big conspiracy. They know that Captain Spaulding is the man, and they know that he knows what this country needs, you dig? Spaulding says, fuck you and your system. I'm in control. I don't believe she did it. It is obvious to me that she is not capable of those things. No way. Peace and love. Baby. Oh, man. She's got it going on, you know? I mean, I like the way that she moves. It's, it's like she's floating on a cloud or something. She's amazing. Been on the TV? <laughs> I mean, I can go to some sexy. You know, I mean, I know he's a bad man, and he's done some bad things, but, like, I date him. You wanted the goddamn boogeyman in your sunny little lives. Well, you got him. There's no fucking justice in this world. I am justice. They're trying to blame us, but we didn't do it. Free the three. 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 the first time that one of the members of the notorious Devil's Rejects cult has been eligible for parole. Vera Ellen Firefly, a.k.a. Baby, has spent the last 10 years incarcerated right here behind me at Tucker Farms. This is a maximum security correctional institution. So we're just gonna, you know, just just dr jump right to something that gave us grave concern. Since your time of incarceration, you've had uh, uh, 157 violations. The 158. 158. Okay. Yep. 158. Uh, the most recent being, you know, you were found in possession of a uh, inmate manufactured uh, weapon. Uh, one second. Do you understand that these statistics? do not reflect positively on these proceedings. Look, Sue, I gotta do what I gotta do. It's my rules, or the Grim Reaper comes a-rolling through in a big black Cadillac. Hey, bitch, hop in! <laughs> you dig? <laughs> uh, yes, I, um, I believe I do. Uh, take a look at these. Oh, a little closer, please. 
Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Do you have anything to say regarding these photographs? Yeah. You can't bring the past back up and prostitute that mock-up as a picture of something that happened a hundred years ago. <laughs> you think this happened a hundred years ago? You can only live in the now. Now is the now. Do um, you believe you're uh, suitable for parole? I mean, look at me. Really, fucking look at me. I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you think that you are um, ready to walk out that door, walk onto the street, and live a productive life? Yes. If down the line the opportunity for parole presented itself and you were given a parole date, what would your plans be? Oh, woohoo! Whoopee! I'd be snow white in the forest, playing with all the animals. I'd play with the bunnies. Whistle while I work. Prisoner is denied parole for five years, at which time the case will be reviewed. That's cool. in this world. I am justice. They're trying to blame us, but we didn't do it. Free the three. Free the three. Free the three. Free the three. <laughs> now we can have a real day of the dead. <laughs> Any last words? Uh, uh, I still want a party. Just a clown dancing for the sins of mankind. Did just call me? <laughs> this is my death factory. You are the product. I love it. Subscribe to Violent Hill. Hey, you, you come with me. Hey. Fuck you. Someone